barka mu da sabon shekara in kana kallon wannan bidiyo nayi matukar murna wai na same ka abun ga shekara yau ne rana na uku a shirin mai taken Hausa Proverb Challenge da nake wallafa muku a yanar gizo Welcome to the third day of the House of Proverb Challenge. Today is the last day in the House of Proverb Challenge, which I have been spreading on the internet, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube as well. On the first day, we spoke about Dunia Rumpankarani, which explained how volatile the word, the world itself is. So today's proverb, which is the last day, is Gidabiu Maganingubara. As always, I will be explaining each word and then the collective sentence. Gida means house, biu means two. Um, Magani means medicine and Gobara means disaster. If you string it together, it may not make sense, but it's supposed to mean two houses is the medicine for disaster. So having pitching your tents in two places, putting all your eggs in one basket is not safe. Diversify. Have your eggs spread across other baskets. Have um, your things put up in two separate houses or more, proverbial two houses, of course, proverbial two houses or more, and just spread your sources of income, spread your co information, your contacts and whatnot across all boards, just in case of any disaster, your personal effects will not get gobbled up in them. And in 2020, um, only those who had maybe multiple sources of income who lost a certain source of income were able to stand because they had backup, they had alternative, they had a plan. So in 2021, I urge you to have a plan, to have a backup, not just stashed by the side to be able to recoup in case things go south. We do not pray for a repeat of 2020, but Gidabiu having two houses is a medicine for disaster. Do have a wonderful year ahead and thank you very much for coming with me thus far. Don't forget to check out my work on my YouTube channel, um, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter as well. Do well to leave a comment or reach out or via my email. I'll be so glad to hear from you and respond accordingly. Do have an amazing year and I hope to see you at the end of 2021.